Obama just received horrible news from the U.S. Senate after they noticed who just paid him $400,000 cash. Former presidents ordinarily receive a pension. However, a recent action by the Senate might change that for one former president and he probably will not be too pleased. On Wednesday, a Senate committee approved a bill that will decrease the salary that former presidents can make. This was all after President Barack Obama has made hundreds of thousands of dollars in paid speeches and vetoed similar legislation before he left office. This legislation will update the former President's Act and thereby reduce the burden on taxpayers. Iowa Republican Senator Joni Ernst, sponsor of the Senate legislation, said the following in a statement. Our national debt now exceeds $20 trillion. This bipartisan effort is another important step toward reining in Washington's out-of-control spending. It is ridiculous to continue asking taxpayers to help foot the bill for former president's perks at a time when they already rake in millions of dollars from book deals, speaking engagements, and more. This bill was passed with unanimous bipartisan support from the Senate Committee on Homeland Security as well as governmental affairs. Now it is waiting for a vote on the Senate floor. Along with this bill, a companion bill introduced by Republican Rep. Jody Heiss will be considered as well. Currently, presidents receive a $207,000 pension annually. This bill would cap stipends at $200,000 a year and would adjust for cost of living expenses and purposes. However, the security detail and payment for them for former presidents would not change. The Daily Caller reported. In the 2017 fiscal of year, the five living former presidents cost taxpayers $2.8 billion for salary, security, staff and other perks of office, according to a Congressional Research Service report. Another provision of the bill would push former presidents who find an additional stream of income slowly off the taxpayers' support. For every dollar a former president makes above $400,000 from speaking engagements or other post-presidential work. The annuity would be reduced by $1 in the Senate proposal. Obama made around $400,000 in one speech to a Wall Street private equity firm earlier this year, according to Bloomberg Businessweek. A similar proposal passed the House and Senate in the last congressional session, but Obama vetoed the legislation in 2016. Former White House spokesman Josh Ernest said that the bill would remove staffers from their jobs assisting former presidents instantly leaving no time or mechanism for them to transition to another payroll. When President Obama vetoed the legislation he argued that doing so would cripple the initiatives that former presidents were working on and would force them to lay off staff and cancel office leases amongst other things. Right now those expenses range anywhere from $430,000 for President Jimmy Carter to $1.1 million for President George W. Bush. This is all according to the Congressional Research Service. The Telegraph wrote, Mr. Obama and Michelle, his wife, have already signed a publishing deal for two separate books that combined is worth $65 million according to the Financial Times. The former president has drawn fierce criticism for accepting the speaking engagement at the investment firm Cantor Fitzgerald's healthcare conference in September. Bernie Sanders the Democratic senator from Vermont who challenged Hillary Clinton in the Democratic nomination for president, called the decision distasteful. I just think it does not look good, Mr. Sanders told CNN. I just think it is distasteful, not a good idea that he did that. Mr. Sanders attacked Mrs. Clinton during last year's primary election campaign for her highly paid speeches to Wall Street banks. A spokesman for Mr. Obama dismissed the idea that in accepting the fee Mr. Obama was compromising his principles. As we announced months ago, President Obama will deliver speeches from time to time, Eric Schultz, a senior advisor to Obama, said in a statement Wednesday. Some of those speeches will be paid, some will be unpaid, and regardless of venue or sponsor, President Obama will be true to his values, his vision, and his record. With regard to this or any speech involving Wall Street sponsors, I'd just point out that in 2008, Barack Obama raised more money from Wall Street than any candidate in history, and still went on to successfully pass and implement the toughest reforms on Wall Street since Franklin D. Roosevelt, he added.
There is no arguing that past presidents can focus on initiatives post-presidency that make a difference. But when they are out there making millions of dollars on speeches and book deals it is a slap in the face to make the taxpayers pay for their pension. Especially given how much money they have, like the Obamas. Considering how much they believe in redistributing the wealth, it is surprising that former President Obama would have a problem with this bill. Share if you agree it is a slap in the face to hard-working Americans to make taxpayers pay for president's fancy cost of living. living, living.